good day guys uh, welcome to control system Sense 6 uh, I'm working on April 2021 paper so this video is on Nicole's chat which is question 4 here so we are given a table there let me just zoom in question 4 10 marks uh, so we have two questions uh, 5 5 the first question we are given a table okay let me do like uh, let me open this the graph on a different tab or window so that you can see uh, when I draw okay so from our table here we are given uh, the closed loop response values so remember when when you are given closed loop it means you are focusing on inside uh, parameters or data or the inside graph so which means the face values the the gain values I'm going to, to work with are all inside but if this was open loop we are going to check on your vertical and uh, horizontal uh, values which is the outside values but for those loop it's inside values <coughs> so uh, this question uh, it says plot the log magnitude versus face on the Nicole's chart attached so let's check so we start with uh, 0 decibel and minus 2 uh, uh, degrees for face so let's go so I can just zoom in so you check these lines these lines have numbers so let me just do this my pen is not connected ok just a moment ok there we go <coughs> so if you check here let me use a red color be quick so if we were given the open loop values and I have to plot uh, 0 and okay let's let's okay 0 and minus 2 is 5 where is minus 2 uh, so your face values you can see it's from 0 to minus 30 so if you check I think the blocks are 5 5 5 5 until then so minus 2 maybe somewhere there then 0 for gain will be uh, there you can check this side of this side even with face you can take from the top or bottom so which means I was going to plot it they were going to meet somewhere there that's for open loop but for closed loop you have to check inside if you are given open loop values you check outside for closed loop I'm going to look for so if you can check these lines you have a decibel lines if you can see I have positive 1 positive 0, 0,5 so on I have 0 and negative 0 0.25 and so on and so on if we check for face also I have negative 2 degrees negative 5 10 20 they increase until I think to 10 so now I'm looking for 0 and minus 2 degrees so let's check where's my 0 decibel line my 0 decibel line is here this is the zero decibel line the minus two oh no sorry the zero de decibel line is the one that goes uh, like this this one that goes down then if you check minus two if you come with it is this one so where do they meet they meet exactly at this point there that's how you plot it just like that then next to it you can put your your frequency which is 4 so you just write next to it you just put 4 red per second then we go to the next one the next one is what 0 0.175 and minus 7.5 so do we have 0 point is it let's check is it positive or negative that's positive so do we have 0 0.75 no I see 0 point I see 0, I see 0 0.1, I see 0 0.25. So 
So 0 0.75 should be in between 0 0.1 and 0 0.25. So somewhere between these two lines, these two lines. And we have 7.5 uh, phase. So we don't have 7.5, we have 10 and 5. So which means somewhere between these two lines. So where do they meet? They meet somewhere here. Those are the two lines for 0 0.1 and 0 0.25. Uh, we also have the lines for minus 5 and minus 10. So they meet somewhere in the middle there. So I'm just going to erase so that my graph looks nicer. Then again, you put 12 red per second next to it. Yeah, so it, it's 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 better if you put the frequency values at the end so that they do not disturb your line after drawing. Then we have what we have two for decibels and minus twenty. Two is positive, minus twenty for phase. So do we have a two two line? It's here. If you can see it, it's here. Where is minus 20, minus 20 is here. So we can see this one is easy, they meet exactly here. And what is the face there? I mean the decibel is 35 decibels. So I'm gonna put it somewhere here. I mean the, 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 uh, the frequency right per second. I'm just gonna erase this again so that my graph is nicer. Then we have what? For 53 right per second we have minus 0 0.75 and minus 150. So minus 0 0.75, so you can see I have uh, minus 0 0.5 and minus 1, these two lines here, these two lines, so minus 0 0.75 will be in the middle, and minus 1 for face, minus 150, where is 150, uh, I don't see this side, so I must just take the graph downwards. Uh, do you see 150? 150 is somewhere here. This is the line for 150. So where does it meet? Uh, let me unzoom here. It's going to be smaller now. So if you come with these two lines, if you come with them this way, yeah, this one meets. Let me see, this one goes somewhere there. So if you come with those two lines this way, I'm just wearing glasses, so it's tricky. So it will be somewhere. Oh, did I miss the line? It will be somewhere here. Okay, it's fine. When you draw, guys, just be okay with 150, so it's somewhere here. So when you draw, just be accurate. Just that with me. Oh, uh, did I erase that? So it looks like they will meet somewhere here in the middle of those two lines. These two lines they come this way, this way, this way, this way, somewhere. Here I put it. Yeah. Then, yeah, that one was a tricky one. The lines are so thin. Then you go next to it, you can put, was it 53? Right per second. Then we go to the next one. We have minus 9 and 170. So where is minus 9 decibels? It's this one. And where is 170? 170, if you can see, is this one. So where will these two lines meet? Here's my 9 and 170 here. Remember, 170 is not this, the line going straight vertical. You should go with these lines going inside, which is this one. It, ori it originates from the vertical line, but when it gets inside, it curves to to the center of that and it calls chart. So that's it's there. And what's our frequency? 78. Okay, the last one. So guys, this will be easier if you have a paper you're working on it. I'm working on a screen. I have glasses on, so it's a bit tricky. So the last one is 99, which is at minus 15 and 185. Do we have minus 15? I see 12 and 18. So minus 15 will be between 12 and 18. 185 will be between 190 and 180. So where will the two lines meet? Here's my 12. Here's my 18. Okay, 
Okay, let me erase the old one, 79. So you can see the in between for these four lights will be somewhere here. The in between for these two lights will be somewhere here. Yeah, just work with it nicely there. Then remember this was 99. Then when you are done, you just have to join your line. I'm just going to make it thicker so that it's visible. So when you're done, you just join the line. You don't use a ruler, guys. Just free help. You join your line nicely there, just like that, and you are done. Just like that. If I unzoom, it's going to be very small, unfortunately. So your 5 marks will be like that. Make sure you put the frequency values there. Okay, I hope that's clear. Let's go to second question. Now they say, use the, the, the graph you just plotted. Tabulate the open loop gain and phase values. You see now they are looking for open loop values. So which means I'm going to check outside for phase and gain for the frequencies at 4 so all the frequencies except 99 so they wanted for 5 frequencies so it's 4, 12, 35, 53, 78 so you're going to copy the same graph the same table but with new values so I'm going to have something like this uh, I'll have 5 values they gave us this is frequency this is uh, magnitude gain in decibels this is phase in degrees so the frequencies are given 412 and what 35 53 78 so now you are going to check at that point for 4 rad per second what is our out uh, our open loop values the outside values so if you can check at 4 here i'm just going to zoom it if you can check at 4 my face value is exactly at 90 degrees which is this value here my open loop values is somewhere between 30 and 29 because if you can check this is 26 27 28 29 so it's somewhere between so i'll say that's 29.5 or 0.3 because it looks like it's not in the middle so i'll just say uh, minus 90 29.3 now we do the same thing we go to 12 here's 12 do you see 12 it's on this line exactly what is this line if you check the the faces, the difference is 5, so it's 95, 100, one, uh, 105, 110, 115, so this looks is like it's exactly at 110. What about the, the gain somewhere there, which is two, 2 units below the 20, which is 18, so we have minus 110 and 18, I have 18 and minus 110. Now the next one, 35. 35, let's go down a bit. 35 is this, okay, let's start with gain, it's easier. It's, gain is exactly here at 9. The face, let's check. It's in between this fat block, so if I unzoom and move this upwards, you can see it's somewhere here. So if that's 120, that's 125, uh, 130, so we can say 132, 133, somewhere between 130 and 135. Let's see, yes, 130, 135. So I will say, okay, I think I forgot this one, was it 8? Oh, I think it was 9 minus 132. Let me confirm if that's 9. Yes, that was 9. Now let's go to the next one. 
53 53 now we can check the face from the bottom the gain looks like it's somewhere in between minus 5 and minus 6 so we can say minus 5.5 then the face looks like it's exactly on this line the second line from 18 which is here which will be minus 170 so minus uh, below this it's 10.5 not not remember this one after 10 it's 11 oh i'm here so 5.6 and minus 175.5 and minus 170 and uh, now it's negative on the gain minus 170 on the dot now let's go to 78 78 it's it looks like the gain is just below the 11 line but not in the center so we can say 11.3 and even the face it doesn't look like it's exactly on 170 so we can say 172 because remember this is 175 so it's what it's 11.3 and 172 guys this they won't penalize you here remember it depends on how you drew okay but with points points are points so but they won't penalize you if, for example you said 173 175 i don't think they'll penalize you if you said 11.5 they won't penalize you but your answers should make sense i hope that's clear that's how you do it guys that's all thank you bye bye see you next time